So my name is Richard Evans and I'm the Managing Director for Bridge Climb. Uh, this is an organisation that's been climbing people over Sydney Harbour Bridge uh, for some years now. Bridge Climb's been a really successful business for a number of years now. We're about to climb our three millionth climber. But we live in an evolving marketplace. The traditional markets we know have come off a bit. Um, and we know that the markets from the east are coming up and China is a key one of those and so it would be silly for us to ignore it. Look, I think when you enter any new market, you have to enter it with authenticity. And this is not something done in a rush and this is something that our business has been considering for some time. So we've done a range of things to get ready to enter the China market. Mostly what we've done is gone into the market and listened to the customers. When we move into a new market like China, this involves the whole organisation. We have specifically uh, employed a number of new climb leaders who have Mandarin as a second language, or indeed a first language, and we've put extra marketing expertise into our organisation to work with trade and the local community. In order to do this, we need a, a number of partners, and Destination New South Wales has indeed been a key one of these, kind of going on a trade mission, seeking advice from their people in market. Uh, we really uh, have used Destination New South Wales resources to the fullest, and they've been terrific. The China market is a very specific market. We know that there are great differences, there are great differences in language, there's great differences in the types of social media and how much access we have to them. But mostly entering a market like China, we really have to begin to understand the culture. It's not enough merely, merely for us to have a cookie cutter approach to our existing product. We have to create almost a new experience for these new customers. We are fully embracing China in 2013 and we'll be launching our new product for the Chinese New Year. Beyond that, I'm very much hoping it'll just become a regular part of our business. Very specific and bespoke for the Mandarin speakers, but this needs to be fully integrated into our whole business in order for it to work properly. It's impossible to overestimate how important research is and how important it is to go into the market and to deal with your partners and to ask as many questions as possible. You'll get all sorts of conflicting information, but you need to synthesize that into a very formal plan, in my view. Kick it around for a while internally and get the buy-in of your entire organization. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Look at yourself internally and really decide why and whether you want to enter the China market. And let's not assume that the China market is one market. The China market is many, many markets. Go and speak to the experts in your community. Go to speak to Destination New South Wales and others. They are people who've done a lot of thinking about this and they're going to be able to advise you very fully. So my advice to other operators considering entering the China market is number one, really look internally and interrogate your own teams to decide whether you actually really want to do this and are committed to doing it, because it's going to be much more difficult than you think. And secondly, is not to treat China as just one market. China is many, many markets, so be specific and be thorough.